can't expect to play like that and get a win in this league. He's hoping for a return to form for his team, which started the year 3-0. and oh. Dakota in the home, white and green. They are the home team here in this matchup this evening. And St. Cloud State finding the goal 51 seconds in. Nick Perfix from the point, tipped along the way by Sam Hentges. And it is 1-0 Huskies. What a play by Perfix there just to one time that that comes right off the boards and he gets good wood on that but there's the redirect right in front a tough save for the first shot and the net for your goaltender but sam hinch is in the right place at the right time here's reese gaber flying forward the freshman who's got three goals to his credit already testing running now kirsten finding the back of the net from the point the quick answer for north dakota the senior D-man strikes, and it's one-to-one. -one. 90 seconds into this hockey game. Speed, it's a smart play. Chance now in front, power play goal. First of the season on the man advantage for St. Cloud State, and it's Easton Brodzinski breaking the drought and breaking the tie. Well, this is how a power play is supposed to work. A lot of tic-tac-toe moving here in Fitzgerald is able to just thread that pass. You see it work from down, up high, down low, and then you're gonna see Easton Brodzinski waiting on the back door with the gaping net. The bench shall receive the puck from mismatch. Cross ice, Booty in the back of the net! Brandon Booty roofing one on the delay penalty. North Dakota gets the goal, and they will be headed to the man advantage as well. All tied up at two apiece. Head to the side. SCSU still on the attack, and on the score sheet once again, Zach Okabe. Big time goal from the sophomore. Three to two, our new score with 8.48 left in the seconds. You really have to outwork them if you think you can beat them, and their effort has been great. Walker now to Fitzgerald. Another one for the Huskies on the power play. Kevin Fitzgerald in transition. And it is 4-2 St. Cloud State. Again, this is going to be the night for Peter Tomey as they're going to pull him on this. This is a, just a tough screen in front. Looks like he's screen, unable to see that. Slides to his right, fires it left, and a power play goal. And like I said, Alex, a 4-2 lead here for St. Cloud State. I think you're going to see a timeout from North Dakota and a new goaltender in net. Good pressure, though, by North Dakota. They break through the third. Bernard Docker! No, oh, they're going to wave this off. Stop the celebrations. Jacob Bernard Docker thought he had his first. You see him mouthing. What the? Yeah. Was Renick knocked out of his position here by Hain? Let's take a look. Yeah, you're going to see Hain come in on that backside. And what happens is, is Hain goes behind him, and he hits the stick out of his hand. I thought Renick looked a little goofy sliding over, coming from his left over to his right, as you see Rieger just sending that over, and JBD just getting it on net. Hain gets in front, but because he gets tangled up with Rennick's goal stick, as you see, Rennick unable to make that save. The referee right on top of it, immediately waved it off. Back and forth we go now. Under five to play, and five on the board for the Huskies. Yami Cranola, an important Insurance goal for St. Cloud State. Yeah, North Dakota just gets caught pressing. They're trying to create some offense here, and it's just a great play. Granola just left alone on the back door, beats Adam Shield just low blocker. Kawaguchi once again, 24 seconds. Trying to lift that one over Donahue. Pinso now. Just no shot opportunities coming for UND Lane. Great shot by the Huskies, clogging up the shooting lanes as they have done all night. Another shot just wide of the cage. Seven seconds. Once more by Bernard Docker. JBD staying down. The puck will go through neutral ice. And St. Cloud State is going to record the victory here tonight. Five to three, your final. The Huskies picking up all three points. And they move into sole possession of second place in the NCHC standings.